everyone. I am Dr. Mahesh Kalori, basically from native from Gokak. I've done my, my MBBS from Mysore Medical College, then uh, MS from Bangalore Medical College, then uh, I did my MCH from Kidwai Cancer Institute, Bangalore, and finished in 2013. And uh, since 2013, I am working at uh, KE Hospital, KE Cancer Hospital as a surgical oncologist. Uh, today, I am going to talk on the most important topic that is breast cancer. Why it is important, the whole world knows because of rising incidence of breast cancer. So, un unfortunately, most of them present very late, either in stage 3 or stage 4. Uh, that's the most unfortunate thing. Uh, because if you detect early, the uh, survival is definitely uh, far better than late stage cancers. For example, first stage, second stage, if you treat the patients, they will get cured. Most almost 5 years survival is, uh, first stage is around 90-95%. Say stage 2, it is around 72 85%. Down, if it goes to stage 4, then the 5 years survival is just around 10-15%. to 15 So, early detection is the key. And uh, as, as per Globocon 2020, the incidence of cancer around the world is almost uh, 20 million so uh, half of them succumb to cancer almost mortality is mortality means death rate is around 10 million so in the world among 20 million the most common cancer is breast cancer almost 12 million breast new every year 12 million new breast cancer are detected if you come to Indian data, so around every year we see around, like in India sees around 14 lakhs of new cases in both the sexes. In among all cancers, again the breast cancer leads, is the most common cancer, or most around 1.5 to 2 lakhs new cases are detected every year. And in females, the most common cause of death related to cancer, again it is a breast cancer. So that's the burden I am talking. That's the importance of uh, giving awareness on breast cancer. So why why uh, people come in delayed stage, means stage 3, stage 4, there are several factors. One is uh, most of the breast cancer are painless. So people think it is painless. So we, we no need to show, so 99% of breast cancer lumps are painless. So a painless lump, any painless lump, please come and show your uh, clinician, then better to show a uh, cancer specialist, oncologist. So that's one reason for delayed present. Other is social stigma. People think that they, they tend to shyness, they tend to hide it. And uh, sometimes the older female, they uh, think uh, if you tell your sons or daughter, it's a burden. Like uh, they will stop, their work will be uh, stopped, there are so many things. Those, those are the many things uh, which goes in uh, female, uh, old patients. So these are the reasons they come. Uh, and also the lack of awareness. So that's where we come. So we have to educate the community at all levels and also it's a duty of doctors and even the government to create uh, breast cancer awareness to, and uh, make sure that uh, people come early and get detected early. There are so many techniques to detect the breast cancer and uh, the first one is see from 20, once, from 20 years uh, all females should start having a breast self-examination so it is a, a process where you yourself palpate the breast both the breast there is a there are videos linked to videos on youtube in all many all of the most of the languages you can go through those videos there are steps you have to stand in front of the mirror see the breast both side of the breast then lift your hand see for the change in the shape of the breast or any nipple retraction or any nipple discharge or any swelling in axilla or any lump is seen any skin uh, any skin thickness is there 
then you palpate with the palm of your fingers uh, of once against the chest wall then uh, while taking uh, and also while taking shower you can palpate lump because you can easily manipulate so there are videos you can go through the youtube videos how to do a self breast examination then this is 22 30 years and like after 30 years uh, you can have a clinical breast examination from a trained uh, doctor physician or oncologist there the uh, along with your self breast examination even a doctor will examine your breast in detail so that we should not miss a, any chance of detecting first in first stage so then after 40 there is a mammography and the as per guidelines uh, mammography is indicated every year uh, for all the females and uh, it is a just a simple x ray of the both breast it is a very it is not it is cheaper investigation and you have to do once in a year and this will help in detecting in first stage so if you get detected in first stage then almost 95% of them are curable so uh, that's the importance of getting detected uh, in early stage and a uh, uh, few lines about risk factor what are the risk factor for breast cancer uh, you can't exactly point out this thing has caused breast cancer in particular women there are multiple factors it's a multifactorial um, one of the most uh, risk factor is uh, nulliparity so nulliparity means uh, females who are not having children that is also a risk factor even uh, uh, age at first birth of the uh, first child birth if it is delayed more than 30 years that is also a very risk factor nowadays uh, the first age at uh, first child birth is getting delayed compared to previous generation so but uh, it is a very high risk factor for uh, breast cancer incidence please uh, be aware make note of it and other risk factor and breast feeding is a very protective thing so please uh, spread the awareness uh, breast feeding is a good uh, good thing it protects against breast cancer other risk factors are like smoking and obesity and uh, if post menopausal Uh, many people take hormonal replacement therapy so to look uh, to not to look old so that is also a risk factor so these are the risk factors and uh, what are the signs and symptoms of breast cancer the most common is painless lump so as i said earlier only uh, 1% is painful 99% of breast cancer lumps are painless so any lump breast uh, lump in the breast which is not causing pain please show to your family physician or oncologist as early as possible other signs are change in the shape of nipple or nipple retraction change in the shape of breast or any ch- changes in the skin of or under the overlying breast some ulcer redness or uh, orange like uh, skin so you are uh, any swelling in your axilla so immediately you have to consult a doctor to rule out breast cancer and uh, few things about uh, i want to talk about treatment see now because as the incidence is increasing and uh, even there are so many new new uh, treatment techniques have come in breast in, in all the field like surgical field radiation field and medical field so uh, surgery i am a surgeon so i want to uh, tell uh, in surgery Uh, there is a breast oncoplasty technique has come in breast cancer uh, in earlier most of the breast cancer patient they used to undergo radical mastectomy modified radical mastectomy where complete breast was to be removed but uh, nowadays uh, we can cure the cancer at the same time we can make sure that the breast looks similar to the opposite breast like cosmetically and oncologically perfect so that is called as breast oncoplasty and uh, in uh, medical oncology uh, there are so many new new drugs have come targeted therapies have come like uh, transuma pertuzumab there is n number of drugs which can target uh, the particular uh, gene and uh, the the treatment has become very effective 
given in a radiation so radiation new machines have come so there is a new techniques like in drop to radiotherapy uh, so many new techniques have come even in radiation all together i just want to tell the technology has improved treatment options have improved so even the cure rate has improved compared to what i used to, well, like i i, st I studied mcs in 2010 to 30 in la like uh, in last decade definitely there is a improvement in uh, cure rate and survival and also there is an improvement even in awareness so many people are coming in second stage third stage now which i rarely used to see in uh, while doing mch so and one thing i want to stress is so earlier we used to see breast cancer in older generation like 50s 60s 70s and uh, while I was doing my residency MCH in Kidbaya, uh, any female who used to come less than 40 years, we used to wonder and we used to make a case report to, hey, it's very rare, less than 40 she has got breast cancer. Now, incidence is so much increasing, even we have treated so many patients who are less than 20, 18, 19, 20 years, less than 30 it has become very common so i just want to stress that and also you uh, breast cancer awareness that because uh, it's because the, as the incidence is increasing try to spread the awareness of how uh, breast cancer uh, early signs are there what things you can do to uh, screen it early detect get it detected early and uh, try to get treated uh, in the centers where multidisciplinary team is there like everyone should be there like surgical oncologist medical oncologist radiation oncologist oncopathologist co radiologist the multidisciplinary team is very very important for a better treatment and high cure rate right? so just getting a lump excised uh, in some uh, center it is not going to cure the cancer if you get detected, please try to come and uh, get uh, treated at a center where multidisciplinary all departments are there. Thank you.